Hello everyone, welcome back. Oh, uh, I've had a few days off, but um, let's get back into it. Uh, I don't even remember where I was up to. Um, I was trying to remember little things. And, like, um, one of the best ways to get your build was to have a green set and upgrade it. Um, so, no. So for instance, with this one, because it's got anomaly power and you want anomaly power, then you just grade that to the second one comes in and you have a better chance of getting the one that you want. I think, I think that's how it worked. Don't 100% remember though. Um, yeah. Try. And not... Still feels really sensitive. But not playing it for a couple of days is a bit. Come on, pop up. Go away with that, please. Did you shoot me from over there. Oh. 
Or is it as soon as you reload it stops that buff? Okay. Been that long, I just don't remember. Nice. There any loot about? Question. I think there's one inside there from what I remember, but any drop anything. None up there. Notes. Interesting. Hey Zahidi, I'm in. There's a lot of trucks in here. They all look the same. I hid the briefcase under the truck's driver's side door. Just, just search them all! Make me dig my own grave next. This better be worth it. Oh my god. Still intact? The satellite uplink. The last satellite uplink. So that's what you were looking for when you found me? Yeah. And it still works? How? The case, it's mu metal. It insulates. It, it's never been opened, so the electronics inside have been safe from the goddamn anomaly. So what does it connect to? Flores. I thought it was all disassembled for the colonization. Mostly. But we lost contact towards the end. Half of the resources we were meant to have are still up there. They're trapped in the supply pods. Seeds, electronics, hard drives full of data, all out of reach. We could rebuild civilization with those resources, but they're useless to us unless we can find a place beyond the storms. And no, we it might sound like a dream, but for those of us that believed, it kept us going. So this is it. That's why Shira sent me to get you. She wants what's inside those pods. 
So, what do we do now? Your frequency. I can use it to locate the source of the signal. I need to reach an antenna up high somewhere. You got one in mind? Yeah. Eagle Peaks. But, uh, not yet. I told you. Everyone who goes on this stupid mission ends up dead. Right, so we have a lot of dialogue. Why did I go in first person then? So we've got a lot of dialogue to do. Um, the side quests, I'll do the side quests some other time. And we've got crafting finally, nice. So he waits your account ready to modify your weapon and armor. Uh, sell or dismantle, yeah, I remember how that works. Him to move on. Side quest. Zahidi's um, truck is in bad condition. I've scavenged all the useful equipment. Doc will have to ride with us. He'll give us a side quest as well. Hmm. All right, What can I do for you? I've been wondering. Is it possible there are other Outriders still in Cryo? Well, it's entirely possible. Jane and I... We weren't expecting to find your team, and with insurgents closing in, we didn't have time to look for anyone else. I don't have to tell you how dangerous the First City is, but... I'd want to be the first to know what you find. I'm curious too. I'll go check it out. If you were to find other Outriders had survived, perhaps our mission won't seem so impossible. Uh. The, um, anomaly. Can you explain it? Well, short answer, no. They call it an anomaly because it can't be explained. It defies all known physics. It seems to be some fundamental force of this planet's nature, electromagnetic and gravitational. But it's also a kind of weather system that obeys rules and can even be forecast. Sometimes it shines, sometimes it rains. Mostly rains. I have theories, but the scientific method depends on observation, hypothesis, experimentation, and finally, peer review. The problem is, I have no peers left. Why didn't we know about the anomaly before we landed? I mean, surely it must have shown up on the surveys. I assure you, this is not the world we were promised. Every report that came back to Earth told the same story. They had found the Garden of Eden, not some world that would be trying to kill us in every conceivable way. We would have stayed on Earth for that. So what the fuck happened? I don't know. My dad, he knew this planet backwards and forwards. He was on the science council that chose this world. Obviously, something happened during the 67 years we were asleep in hyperspace. Something changed this planet. Tell me, Dr. Zahidi. Careful. That's the very last satellite uplink on Enoch. You don't know how long it took me to find it. How did you even know to look for it? My father. I found reference to it in his notes. After we landed, he was out here looking for a signal. Long before we were. He was the first one to send expeditions. And back then, I was just a kid.
You came to Enoch as a child? Hmm. Not many kids were on board the Flores. My father, being who he was, had the luxury of bringing his family. Because you haven't found any other Outriders yet. That doesn't mean they're not still out there. Right. Let's have a look at this. So... Health and normally power. With that, I can raise its attributes. I can select the mod. Level it up. Uh, we've got enough of them. Got enough of them, but not worth doing. Yeah, um, I think it's a case of even if it's a green, anything that has two stats that you're looking for, keep hold of and upgrade the rarity and. Um, to, to, yeah, just try and get your build going. I think that's pretty much it. The cryopod I found you in was in an old medical lab near the river. You should start searching there. Um, I still can't get used to seeing your face. You're so damn young. It's like you're a walking memory. No, these are going to be, well, it's massively higher. Shots fixed to another enemy within a 5 meter radius. Initial target. It's good to get old Bess rolling again. She's doing alright, considering I brought her back from the dead. Um. Journal. Ugh, I hate this place. Every Press. single disaster we brought down on our heads, condensed into one dead city. The stark. Let's carry on. I'll come back and do these side quests at some point. So this was the first city. Looks like a ghost town. What happened here? Some geniuses decided to wake up half a million people when we barely had enough food for ourselves and put them in a city built to house 50,000 people. You can imagine how well that went. People stuffed into boxes, starving to death, living in their own shit like some fucking slum, and no shelter from the fucking anomaly. Those storms only had to kill a few thousand before the riot started. So... The rioters destroyed this place. No. What we did to stop the riots, that destroyed this place. Let's see if we can get a better truck.
but change the color. Let's go with that one. Um, what? That was never there before. Oh, never did this before. I don't remember ever doing this. Um, okay, vehicles. Banner. Um, emotes. I'm not bothered about emotes anyway, messing about. Sorry, messing about, done. Let's go. Is that where we are? Eagle's Peak. Is that the tower? Yes. Looks like the cable car's down. I might ask those soldiers if there's a way to get them working. What the hell was that noise? How about they keep the engine warm? Right, there were some boxes that you could... Can't we just get a fire going? I'd rather not paint a big target on us. See anything? Not a thing. I like to think there's someone up there looking down on us. Anything pop out of the clouds. Some kind of writing. What's the point of fixing this? Yeah, it must have just been that. I thought there was another box. Anything about up here? Nope. It's unbelievable, Outrider. Yes, it is. Holy shit! Did you see the volcano? For a minute there, I thought it was gonna erupt. You never know what this place. Power goes in. Power goes Cable car to the radio tower. Does it work? Not since insurgents took control. They have the car on their side. You could try saying pretty please. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pass. What about the other one? I wouldn't risk it. it. Goes too close to the volcano. That thing's active? I mean, it spews lava from time to time, but there's something far less natural lurking in there. What's the story with your volcano? Whatever's in there, even the insurgents keep their distance. We learned the hard way. The thing stayed below the fog, dragging them down the cliffs, spraying flames. I never saw it, just heard the screams. By the time we dragged the cable car back, there was nothing but blood and ash. So, before I can use the cable car, I gotta go deal with that volcano. What, are you kidding? You got some kind of a death wish? Just tell me how to get there. Oh. Altered. I'm Captain Dunham. There's a path that'll take you further up the mountains. There's something out there to fear, all right, but... I thought there was more, but obviously not. Right, uh, the sure there was a box around here. No. Okay.
say. Only way to the radio tower is those cable cars. How badly do you need that radio tower? I'm afraid this is the only facility with enough range. If I can't use her frequency to find the signal from that tower, we might as well quit now. We'll get cozy then. We're gonna be here a while. Seems I got a date with the volcano. I feel like something's gonna come out of that hole. I don't think it does, but. Okay, this is a side quest, if I remember correctly. I'm sure, that's a side quest unless it activates after you kill the boss. Yeah, so with that, you want to be, um, basically want to be building into that so you don't have to reload. Okay, this gun's out really fast, so I am swapping it out. Um, yeah, swap it out for that one. I am not, I'm not dealing with not having any ammo and having to use it. Oh, that's a shotgun. Isn't there two birds?
Oh, oh. Oh yeah, I'm not the one that's nearly dead. I'm not the one that's nearly dead. Okay, we'll have a quick look round and then probably finish it here before we carry on. Seem to be anything else. Mining stuff, that's about it. Okay, well, call it here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you have a fantastic day. And hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.